What's up guys, it's Emery. Today we're covering the basics of upgrading. We're going to cover a few basic examples and then talk about upgrade paths. We got some upgrades to do, so let's go, baby. Make sure you try to unequip whatever you're trying to upgrade first. All right, so we're going to get those awesome stats. Let's go ahead and left click on your weapon and then we're going to hit manage equipment. Now here we have three different upgrade paths. We'll talk more about this in a second. For now, we're going to go with the rift walk stage four. Just hit evolve when you have all the materials you need and you're good to go. Super easy to do once you have the materials. Let's do another example. This time an accessory. So this earring is slightly different, but the concept is exactly the same. It shows you exactly what you need. First three stages are enlightened jewels. After that, we need this. Now this is just for the breakthrough at stage four. After stage four, we'll go back to needing just the enlightened jewels again. We're gonna do the pet aura and it's super simple as well. There's only one option and it shows us exactly what we need. Now we're doing our soul, super easy one as well. You don't have to do these all at once. Just take it slow and do one upgrade here and there. So here's what we would need for the heart. As long as you're patient and know where to get the materials, which I'll list down below, you are good to go. You'll probably want to upgrade Soul Shield the very last, so don't worry about those too much right now. Just to dip our toes in, we'll hit Manage Equipment, hit the plus sign. We'll want to put primers in here. Here's an example of a primer that we'll put in later. We'll also need some fusion powder. So now let's talk about Equipment Pass. Now to keep it simple, we're going to start with the Equipment Pass, hit Manage Equipment Pass here, and we're just going to look at the Manage Equipment Pass for just this pet aura. What Equipment Pass are is basically just figuring out what you're going to need for later. Now you can specify your future target equipment so that you can plan out what materials you'll need. Now as you saw with the weapon which was the first upgrade we did earlier we had three different options. This is the only part of upgrading that may be a little bit more difficult but it's really super easy. All you have to do is a tiny bit of research. If you're brand new looking at the equipment upgrade pass for the weapons or anything that has multiple options can be a little bit more confusing. But we're just covering the basics so let's keep it simple. All an equipment path is is planning what route you want to take for your your equipment. Basically, let's say you want to do PvP, you could do the PvP path, you could do the PvE path if you're more into that. You could do a raid path if you're more into raids. This way you can give equipment better stats that are more closely aligned with whatever playstyle you're interested in. The second awesome part of equipment upgrade pass is discovering what materials you'll need later. This helps people discern what is the cheapest route to the eventual goal you want. As you saw a second ago, we had three different options. Basically what that meant is that we could switch the path that we were on and therefore continuing to upgrade our equipment but using different materials to do that. This way you can switch to a different path if it's more beneficial for you and cheaper and then switch back to the path you want later. This is where you want to get a little bit of help. So let's cover an example. Let's say I want to upgrade my stuff but I don't really know what to upgrade to. I'm going to go to the BNS subreddit and then look to the side right here. You're going to see a bunch of awesome and helpful discords. I'm going to join the academy discord here. It'll bring us to a window that'll let us choose our class that we play. So we're going to join that channel and then in that channel we can designate our role by typing in a simple command. We're going to type in I am gunslinger. You can do the same here with multiple classes and then you'll have access to that particular class's channel. Now before you do anything make sure you check the pinned posts. There should be a bunch of guides, FAQs, and other things where you can read and glance at to find out hopefully the information that you need. So back to our example, let's say I also want to start playing Warden and I know nothing about this class. I'm going to go back to the channel and get the Warden role. Now we have access to the Warden channel and we can check out all the posts and guides on Warden. Like I said, we're going to check the pin messages first and see all the information that we have available to us. Later, I'll come back and look at these guides more, but for right now, all I'm trying to figure out is the equipment upgrade paths for the the weapons that we're going to choose. So I'm going to click on general information and if we go there we can actually see everything we need to know about our weapon path upgrades. It looks like the raid path for Warden at least at the moment is stronger but it does mention that it may be cheaper to go a non-raid path until you have a specific item later depending on in-game prices. Since we're not sure if the non-raid path is cheaper at the moment we could double check this with outside resources. Here's a chart for example that can show you the equipment costs. Now I know at this point this is all a lot of information probably for you to handle so just remember that the important part that we learned today was that we want to take the raid path eventually on our warden. Knowing this will put you on the right path pun intended and having the resources available to us will give us everything we need. If you can't find the answer to a question you need or you're just confused on something of course ask your class channel. They're happy to help and that's what they're there for. So one final quick last example I've been wanting to upgrade my weapons. So first I did a little research and found out what weapon I want to upgrade to next. Then I learned what materials I needed for it. Then I worked hard and grinded for those materials. I took off my weapon and then we hit evolve, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Boom, let's go. Holy shit, those look sexy. Hell f
And yeah, I am so excited to go use these right now. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for extra RNG. Don't forget to upgrade to harder, baby. Let's go.